Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel and here we are we are looking at the X68000 core now I'm gonna ask for forgiveness in the beginning right because I keep calling it X86000 right because of you know X86 PC stuff right so X68000 hopefully I'll get it right in the practice runs I've got it right so Dr. Johnny Banana is absolutely love you my bro and there here we are we've got a uh, chorin shark 68k because i saw that also a uh, scalino the first thunder force 2 duly noted i wrote that down tms chase hq now i'm hoping i've got a lot of these games to be honest the person that helped me because with this right i've got no idea about this system i know nothing of it right billy a friend of mine someone that i met through youtube he uh, he came in and he told me about some games and he kind of like helped me out with his core like i heard of the x68000 but like i was never interested in checking it out remember a lot of this is about nostalgia for me but then another part of the mr fpga is discovering new systems right like saturn i discovered it on here right? i knew about it i played it in a shop once i had a Saturn traded into my shop but I never really took it home and played it or I think I took it home and I didn't quite know how to work it and so here we go it's it's stuff to learn wicked Alan D in the house space harrier so I'm just writing games down we'll start playing some games in a second but um so one of the great things about the Mr FPGA right is not only am I getting the systems I, I, I love right but I'm also trying out new systems I never really tried the wonder swan that's on here that's on the analog pocket as well even though i think that's better suited on the analog pocket because it's a handheld system being played on a handheld system but there's plenty out there right the sega saturn being one the x68000 being one i'm sure there's others that are out there i'm just lazy right i mean i'm really glad i've got good friends uh alan d is also a great friend uh he kind of helps me in the background with the channel as well so um yeah man it's it's absolutely amazing what's team saying there is a disc image on the internet that had a lot of games on there oh wow wicked well, I'm using um, .hdf files as well, so I'm using hard drive images, but it is one per game. So that's what we're doing right now. So just a little bit of backstory on this, guys. So what I did was I did a community post, and as you can see, that's the results there. Now, uh, whenever I do these, I always have a kind of favorite that I want to go with, and I wanted to go with X68000, uh, and I thought, let me put it to the poll anyway. And X68000 won by getting, well, almost half the votes, right? 48%. So... Um, I'm really glad that we're we, we're kind of in tune right because the last two streams I've done uh, this one and uh, the one I did earlier uh, which was arcade games again I was like oh I really like playing arcade games I could do that right let's start this anyway um, and we'll start some playing uh, wicked super dimensional almost as easy okay is, is that a game oh I think I just fired my wow starts off with some banging stuff Okay, so for today, I'm using, because this only requires kind of like two buttons, right? I should have actually plugged in the PC Engine controller, but what I did was I, 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 I wasn't, yeah, this is how much I don't know the system, right? All I did was I ran it once just to make sure that I, um, it was actually booting up and working, right? Oops. Um, so I, um, I booted it up. So I should have gone with the PC Engine controller, right? Because that's good. I've got auto fire at the top there. It is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, the 8-bit don't one. But instead, I used the Ultima, uh, the Ultima USB Type C from um, from 8-bit door. Guys, this is seriously what a system, right? So someone just posted in chat that only 10,000 units were made and sold in Japan. That's that's very very tiny, right? But wow, just seriously. This is what the guys were playing in Japan, right? While we were playing like whatever, the Amiga, the ST, they had something, uh, a system that they're getting arcade ports for. That is just amazing. So let's see if we've got um, Thunder Force. So I'll go through the games list, right? At a speed, hopefully, that people can kind of have a look at. There is quite a number of games here. So that is that is actually good. So uh, like I said, a big shout out to Phil Ata for literally helping me with this, man. Like it's good to have i've got a lot of good people uh like i say to help with the channel i'm very very fortunate right i've made a lot of friends since doing this channel um yeah i've, I've made a lot of friends and 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 they help out man they help out they definitely help me more than i can, uh, i help them so big shout out you know big l uh philly uh, terminator 2k2 dia schlock andy d uh also developers out there that are super awesome like boogerman mazamars hotego wicker wacker so many good people in the scene right so oh i was supposed to load again so let's let's go do we have thunder force again the soundtrack for this is just good as well so thunder force 2 oh yeah let's do this let's load it so philly gave me a pro tip philly said um 
if a game doesn't load first time just reset it after right so cyber block metal orange okay i mean just for that name right so right so hey hi everyone this is my friend johnny bananas and his favorite name is cyber block metal orange it just kind of fits hand in hand right you know that, that a name like johnny bananas and cyber lock metal orange so also just uh, i'm trying something a little bit different on youtube so i've put the ad ads down to like the lowest frequency of ads that you can get so hopefully it'll be an uninterrupted viewing pleasure for you guys uh, as well as that i've tried the ultra low latency mode so uh, let's see let me jump to, okay so the ultra low lat latency mode is about two seconds behind so which i think is good right because it gives you a warning that it only supports 1080p but i, I don't go above 1080p man I've, I've not quite gone into that 4k realm yet so this is an interesting system uh again really good okay okay so this is right i'm, I'm not sure how how much my street is going to be i find uh controls like this quite confusing so Again, just amazing to see a computer that has so many arcade ports. Okay, so I'm pressing the run button. I just want to start game. So, okay. So, start and select do the same thing here. Guess one of the buttons will do. Excellent. I have got a keyboard plugged in as well. Should it be required? Hopefully, it won't be required. You know, these are the type of games that if I played them as a kid, I'd be, I'd be cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. The controls are fine. It's just, it's a little bit out of the ordinary, right? You're always flying. Okay, have I got a... Oh, so you can change your weapon. Right, okay. I've got a downward bomb as well, which will get those things. Okay, interesting. Um, have to say this isn't this isn't something that I think I would uh, I would play. I appreciate if anyone that likes it. Um, I think there's just a little bit of a learning curve there that I won't have the I won't really have the what's the word the patience to kind of go through with it. Right, okay. But you know what? We're here trying your stuff out. So let's. Oops, what am I doing? All right. Okay, that's the wrong one. I need to go to HDF. Uh, Chase HQ, baby. Chase HQ. Oh, I don't have Chase HQ unless it's under T. Please be under T. I hope I've got Chase HQ. I love that game. Ah, oh, I haven't got it. I haven't got it. That sucks, man. Really, really sucks. Oh, have I got it? Is it there? Am I being blind? Because sometimes legit I'm blind, right? I don't I don't know. I haven't got it. I haven't got it. Ah, okay. I haven't got it. Sucks. Never mind. Okay, so Space Harrier. Let's go Space Harrier. Now, hopefully I've got that right. Space Harrier. Yes, we have Space Harrier. Okay, so it seems to be that I've got the popular games that you guys are asking for. And I definitely hope I've got Cyber Block, uh, Cyber Block, Cyber Block Metal Orange. Uh, right, what are we having a look at here? I, I noticed someone said Narc in chat. Um, I don't think Narc is out for this, so that's not something we could be doing. So I uh, just want to say in case I've missed anyone out there, uh, Spitfire RAF uh, uh, 100, hello. Wicked, I've already said hello to uh, Alan. Super Dimensional, hello my buddy. TMS, Johnny Bananas, Wicked. All the things, Sakalino the first, absolutely amazing. Nate and Earthful, super duper. Good having all you guys here hanging out. Uh, and guys, if you're just tuning in we are doing some x68000 core uh, just want to say that channel merchandise is available some mr kind of related uh, and analog analog pocket related stuff right is that frozen on me let me give that a reset and see if that comes back in all right and as well as a uh, channel merch guys uh, all all streams all mr streams are, are sponsored by mr add-ons right uh, the person that sponsors the weekly news show and they get a sponsorship on uh, on any of the live streams as well so check them out if you're uh, if you're after mr stuff um you know if it, especially if you're after a set wow this looks good why can't i go up okay i can't i can't seem to go up right up's not working in this i've definitely got the controls configured in this i've got to start doing stuff on the keyboard Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of like pressing stuff on my keyboard, which is... No, okay, WASD maybe? No? Okay, for some reason, I, I, I just haven't got up working on this, on this. Oh, it said, oh, is that what it says? Reset? Okay, I did I did do the reset. Wicked, good stuff. There's a really good side-scrolling beat-em-up when you play as a mech. I forgot the name. Okay, uh, press... Oh, I need to press down to go up. That is weird. Right, okay, let's... Let's check it again, right? Oh, wow! Oh, it's the wrong way around. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get used to that. Right. Thanks for that. I'll imagine that the most popular thing. Guys, I'll tell you something really, really funny. Right. And I've mentioned some of the stuff that I mentioned. I've mentioned on streams before. Right. And maybe even videos. But when I, when I had my video game shop. Right. The number one game that we got returns on. Right. Was Metal Gear Solid 2. 
And you know the reason why? People said the game crashes, it loads up and they can't get into the game, right? And do you know what was wrong with the game? That, that was one game where in order to progress in the game, you had to press the circle button on the PlayStation. Where every other game on the PlayStation in the PAL region, in, in the UK, it was X to go forward in the menu and circle was usually backwards to go in the menu, right? So, so many people brought it back without even pressing uh, the circle b uh, button. It became a little bit of a running joke where people would come in and be like, you know what, we can't, um, we can't get this to start, right? And um, and you would kind of go, okay, let's have a look. And, and you would load it and you would start it. And they'd be like, huh? You'd be like, yeah, you know, you need to press the circle button in order to, to get, to get, to progress, to get into the game. So that was really, really funny. And, uh, you know, sometimes you don't try the obvious, right? So I'm glad I've got the low latency mode turn on because the minute I was bickering, uh, you know, Big Al kind of pointed out there, press down. <laughs> press down and now I'm going down. Guys, this is a brilliant system. Seriously, like... Growing up in Japan and having something like this, wow. And, and like I say, guys, you know, arcade games are like pretty much my favorite games, right? And and the reason I got into the Mister. So as much as I love the, uh, I love the ST and the Amiga and the stuff that we had here. Um, yeah, this is just brilliant. Let me write that down. Genocide 2. Hopefully I've got that. And Dave Nice, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope, um, yeah, I hope you're having a good day, evening, uh, wherever you are, man. Can, can we get, um, can we get a shout? Just let me know where you're watching from, guys, because I done a random stream during the day, right? And it ended up being really, really popular, right? And we had, we even had Wizzle uh, attend there, and it was 10 p.m. in Australia, and it was like two o'clock in the afternoon here or something. So uh, it's nice to find out where all you guys are coming from. And when I do my day ones, I kind of get an idea of what time, what countries are kind of around. So um, right now the channel's got to a stage where I don't think there's a wrong time for Wicked. He's Coast Canada here, nice one. Um, so I don't think there's a wrong time for me to do a stream, right? Because whenever I do a stream, people seem to watch. So there's enough people. People around the world uh, to kind of participate. So that's really good to know. It just means anytime I'm ready, I can go ahead with it. Right, we're going to do this for Johnny, uh, Dr. Johnny Banana. Sorry, I had to call you rank there. Uh, so Cyber Block Metal Orange, and I really, really do hope I've got it. By the way, Philly, who did help me with all this stuff, uh, he is going to be joining us uh oh we have look he's going to be joining us at half nine right because uh football is what he absolutely loves and uh he's going to be watching football and he said football finishes at half nine and then he's going to join us matt h hey man how you doing hi back from norway here again looking for a game to play nice two streams in one day yeah do you know what right so here's the thing i'm on annual leave i'm only mainly on annual leave because uh, my daughter i mean she's old enough uh, to kind of uh, stay at home on her own she does when i pop out for shopping or things like that right okay that's oh it has worked um my wife's away with my two boys i've got plenty of time at the moment so it's definitely a lot of fun I, you know bar home responsibilities like washing cleaning and bits and bobs and prepping food for my daughter and my daughter's like me she quite enjoys her own company she'll go on a laptop she'll be speaking to her friends she'll be doing that so that's actually good so she's um she's kind of taken that from her dad so that's absolutely awesome guys um you know if um, if you if you've just joined the stream or anything pressing that like button really helps i know a lot of youtubers begging everything and i know the reason why it's because the more kind of interaction you get the more likes you get the more it kind of gets the video out there so it really does help the channel so if you enjoy the content or you're enjoying this content it really really does help and it's really really appreciate uh, really really appreciated yo jink man how you doing man betty boo uh, betty boo is in chat where's betty boo from germany we we used to have so much fun oh no sorry that's betty boo so there was a UK kind of pop artist, and she was called Betty Boop, I think. Is that one? Oh, I'm getting confused with the names. Oh, Betty Boo was the cartoon, right? Which was that big-headed girl. Absolutely awesome. Stockholm, Sweden. Carl in the house. How you doing, man? We have got um, we've got we we've got a nice we've got a nice crowd, man. We've got a, we we've always got a nice crowd. So absolutely brilliant. And Swedish. Do you know what? To be honest, um. Most, I, I've had good experiences with uh, most uh, people from most countries. Um, so Sweden, awesome people. Finland, absolutely awesome people. Uh, Canada, Canada are just like the kindest people you know, man. I've got family in, Calen uh, in Canada. Uh, it sounds like it sounds like a really really like the people there just sound wicked. And Jinkman from New York City. Do you know what? A little bit of a trivial thing here. So you've got New York and you've got Newark, like N-E-W-A-R-K. When I used to hear that in the movies, I just used to think it's like a regional accent of how people say New York. They say Newark, 
Newark, you know, like, hey, instead of New York, like, Newark, Newark. And then I found out Newark was a completely different place, man. Uh, I know mean people in Canada, really. <laughs> I've, I've met, I've met, I've met good ones, man. So I'm, I'm good with that. Right, am I, I want to get into game, right? Right, graphic quality is really, really good on this, man. It's very, 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 very HD, isn't it? Um, very, very. Oh, okay. Oh, initial start. Let's just do initial start. Oh, load, loading start. Am I starting? I think I'm starting. Right, okay. I've got no idea what this game is, right? Dr. Johnny Banana, don't set me up, please. I hope she keeps her clothes on. We're a family-friendly channel, and we're a channel that my wife views from time to time. Last thing I'd want is she's on holiday, and all of a sudden there's hentai out there, and I will get beats, man. I will get beats. I get beats if I if she dreams about me with another woman. I get I get beats. Geograph seal, right? Geo, writing this down. Hopefully, okay. Geograph seal, wicked. Uh, wicked, wicked. Oh, Pat, Pat, Johnny, fifty-seven. How you doing, man? If fifty-seven is your year of birth, wow, that makes you sixty-six years old, man. Uh, oh, okay, Arkanoid type, right? Do I press start? What do I? Okay, cool. Um, right, excellent. Brooklyn is in the yo-yo. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Excellent, excellent. Oh, okay. Are we gonna? Oh, is this? Hold on, hold on. I, I love the look of this game. Oh, sh oh, shizzle my dizzle, bros. This is a, so this is an Arkanoid type game, right? But can I shoot? Cause you can shoot in Arkanoid. Oh no, I don't. Want... What's that turbo I've just turned on? Okay. Is that just the sound turbo? Oh, okay. I was, I was too busy looking at the turbo thing. Guys, do you know what? There's one thing I love about games like this, right? So this is just Arkanoid, but you're given a ship that looks like a proper spaceship, right? And then you've got an avatar of, uh, you know, what would be considered a good-looking cartoon woman, right? Like, let's let's just be honest here, right? When we were kids, right? I don't I don't fancy, right? In case my wife ever watches, I do not... I do, oh, keep going for the power-ups. I'm not into cartoony women now, right? But I have to say, guys, when I was a kid, I absolutely loved Jessica Rabbit. I think I wanted to mar marry Jessica Rabbit. And also, there was a cartoon. You know that dog with the droopy cheeks? The dog that had the droopy cheeks, I remember there was one where he rescued this cartoon character and it was like a really tall, I don't know if it was a brunette or a blonde, and she was taller than him. When he rescued her, he was like carrying her horizontally, riding, I don't know, and, and I really fancied that cartoon. Um, I mean, it's not something, I'm glad I kind of grew out of it, right? And uh, I'm not seriously into cartoons or anything like that, uh, you know, at least like that. But as a kid, man, Jessica Rabbit was just... Yeah, that was just hot, man. As a, as, a, as a kid watching that, yeah, Jessica Rabbit was was amazing. Um, someone actually sent me a clip, like it was a funny one where uh, <laughs> I think she's all like really like fat and like just grown old and everything, and, and Roger Rabbit just pretends like he can't hear her, he's just sitting in front of the TV. It was actually very very funny. It was something a work colleague of mine showed uh, showed me. Very very funny guy. Does a lot of funny stuff, like <laughs> just really really funny stuff. He set up, he, I remember when we had like a new guy at work, he set up all different meetings for him for different movies. Um, and I think, what's the guy called in uh, in Home Alone? Is it Kevin or something? He set up meetings for Kevin. In the end, like, we have to tell the guy, like, you know what, these guys are, these guys are like, they're mocking you, man. Like, just chill. And I kind of had to have a word with the guys. Like I said, look, I understand it's a bit of fun mocking the new guy, but you guys are kind of taking this a little bit too far, right? Give the guy, give the guy some peace. Ooh, what did I just fire up there? Something came up there when I pressed the button. Okay, so oh, when I'm pressing the button, I'm kind of getting turbo written up there. Well, I need to pay attention to how I hit that. I'm going to look at chat in a second, guys, because I'm pretty sure you guys have, have judged me for the Jessica Rabbit comments, right? Oh, is that going to go same place? Oh, okay. Like, we're liking it. We're like, oh, come on. I forgot about it. The way you cut it, right? You can uh, cut it really, really good. Okay. We've done all right. We've done all right. Yeah, this is a, this is a decent game, man. I, I really, really liked... I really, really liked Arkanoid, man. I think on the ST, you could play it with a mouse. When I used to play it around my uncles and had it for, like, the Atari 800 XL. And, yeah, it was just uh, simple but very, very effective, right? Kind of, like, makes you want to get a trackball sometimes. 
But um, yeah, I've got I've got way too many accessories, man. I don't I don't want too many. I just wish I had a big house. Like I see, do you know when I watch when I see some of um, the guys that I follow on t Twitter or some of the guys that I speak to, when I look at the amount of space they've got, man, in their house, it's like Adventure Tackle, right? Someone that um, comes on the channel and on the Discords, you know, you guys may know him. Um, he's got like a basement with so many CRTs and like a whole setup in there, man. I, I'd love to have that, man. I don't even have a basement, right? But it just sounds, it sounds so awesome. Right, should we do something else? I mean, this is good, but let's let it die here. Uh, uh, Dr. Johnny Bananas, thank you for that suggestion. And I love the name, right? Because you can't guess what the name is. I know Cyber Block, there's Block in there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's awesome, right? So let's go Genocide 2, right? J -j 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 oh wicked we've, we've got them man ah so good man big 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 props to philly let me just have a look at some of the games so um okay all right let's have a look Ge geograph seal oh I've got, I've got that written down okay cool um wicked florida in the house brooklyn florida wicked wicked the brooklyn the brooklyn brawler <laughs> Can you try Twin B? Of course I can. I'm going to write that down. Um, Matt, just a reminder, if you write it in block capitals like some of the other people are, just the standalone game, it makes it really easy to pick up uh, on chat. Because I'm terrible, I end up missing uh, a lot of chat there. So um, I think Babanoid on the Amiga is a better Arkanoid clone. Yeah, cool. There's plenty of clones out there, man. And, and you know, it's always down to personal choice what people kind of prefer. Because sometimes something might be better from a technical standpoint, from a graphical standpoint. From, I don't know, a sound uh, standpoint, it's just what you like. Uh, for Twin B, uh, for Twin B, play Delta Twin B. All right, let me write Delta next to that. So if I can't find Twin B, I'll do uh, Delta Twin B, wicked. Or maybe we can even do both, right? It, it doesn't matter. Um, so what have I run over here? We're running Genocide 2, right? Let's have a look. So hey guys, if you're just tuning in, welcome to Pixel Cherry, Cherry Ninja's channel. Uh, we're doing... Um, the, the Mr. FPGA streams that are that are sponsored that are brought to you uh, in conjunction with Mr. Add-ons definitely uh, check them out for you Mr. Stuff uh, right I'm pressing buttons here uh, I'm imagining this may have to load or has it crashed or no that image is forming right so something is happening is that just how they cover the oh I'll press space bar there okay so I wonder if something happens if you press space I kind of mash space there a few times did I ah interesting okay so I've kind of got my I've got like one of those uh, Logitech Ooh, Ooh, right the font there kind of reminds me like it's elevator action or something but i bet you it's not again banging soundtracks let me put the volume up a little bit hey there's something wrong with the graphics here right these ain't the graphics yeah that's definitely corruption let me let me just give it a reset for good measure right and let's let's see what happens interesting oh um Wicked Patreon Tube, Cho Ren Shah, right? Cho Ren Shah, Cho Ren Shah. Okay, cool. Um, the mascot on the screen is zero divide PS1. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's definitely busted. <laughs> it's the year 3000. But let me press space because space kind of got me into game before. I didn't know that, but... Because I know it's a computer, I'm like, okay, let's let's kind of try something. Um, guys, if you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. We're looking at the X68000, a Japanese computer. That, no, this this game's broken. I like that little guy running there. Should we should we play a little bit of the brokenness, right? Is this what someone was talking about? Like a beat? Uh, was it a beat em up with a mech? Now I don't know if this is a beat em up or it's like more a side scroller, isn't it? But either way, I like it. Kind of reminds me of like a PC Engine style game. Obviously with broken graphics here. Wow, this, I think this would look so cool if it if it actually worked, man. Um, never mind. Um, I still like looking at this stuff, right? But let's have a look at the next one. So the next game we're looking at is Salamander. Oops, wrong one here. Need to go here. Let's press S. And hopefully we have got... Ooh, oh, we have got Salamander. Absolutely superb. Brilliant. Um, yeah, maybe TMS. Maybe different config required. I I'm just so bad. Oh, someone said Castlevania. I didn't see it. Castlevania, yes. 
Uh, four, remember block capitals, please. I would have missed that. But Castlevania, yes. Even if no one picked that, I would have wanted to have checked that out. And hopefully I have got it in there. And Gradius 2, no problem. Uh, so guys, just a reminder, any games you want to see, just write them in block capitals as, as a start. Even if you want more than one game. Oh, uh, thanks there, TMS, uh, for the reset. Uh, so even if you want more than one game, no problem. Just write it single as a standalone message. See the way TMS has wrote uh, reset, please? It just it just stands out. Um, and I'm so daft, I may have at one point thought Reset Please is the name of a game if it wasn't crashed at the time. So that is just me, Mad Stalker. Oh, Mad Stalker is the mech beat. Am I wicked? Glad, glad to have you guys here, man. It's actually good because when Philae comes in, he's going to take over and just demand like every single game out there. <laughs> uh, but that's all good. He's, he's a good buddy. I always ask and I always forget what's the difference with is it space for coin what is going on here oh the Castlevania is a cool all right wicked wicked uh I'll do that with the a right okay interesting busted in here but, but yeah there's no ship man what's happened what has happened well I'm not exactly playing it so I don't know, what are some crucial keys for this? I'll press that F keys and I've just crashed it. Let's give it one more reset and, and see if anything works. Flying shark, no, wow guys, we're getting a lot of requests here, man. I'll tell you what I've got in my on my list, right? After Salamander, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. That's We're doing good. No worries, um, uh, for, I've, I've wrote down your two requests. Gradius 2 and was it Castlevania? No problem. They're on the list. I've kind of recognized that as reset, please. That is absolutely awesome. Give it another reset and hopefully it will work. Try changing the CPU speed. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, let's go CPU turbo now. Let's give it a reset for good measure. And let's see if that works. Hopefully that doesn't break games. So we'll go between the two. Gaming is still uh, gaming is still life. Absolutely. Did they fix Outrun? Are you talking about... So we're doing a stream here for the 68,000. Are you talking about... Did they fix Outrun on the 68,000? Because I, I don't know if it's out, uh, out yet. If you're, if you're talking about the... Oh, Wicked. Sorry, man. I was looking at the chat there. Thanks, TMS. Um... Uh, gaming is still life. If you're talking about the Outrun core, I don't think that's fully finalized yet. And maybe there is still some work on there. Uh, I, I can't, oh wow, it's still giving me reset again. So let, let's give it another reset and we'll try it again. Final Fight is also a great light. Let's write Final Fight. Final Fight again. Uh, great to see those ports. Right, let's see if it kind of starts now. So. Nah, so even on turbo, it's, it's not doing it, right? So let me put it back to normal. We'll mess about with turbo when we need to. And let's go in, let's go on the next game, right? So Salamander, uh, Geo, Geo, uh, Geograph Seal, right? So let's do, let's do Geograph Seal. Oh, have I, have I got it here? No, I haven't. Mm, oh, hold on. Okay, Geo. Yeah, sorry, G-E-O, right? Geograph Seal, awesome. Right, let's do that. Hey, Mohammed, how are you, man? Uh, how much do you think a custom X68000 um, keypad for the LEDs would cost to make? I have absolutely no idea. Maybe someone else can put that in chat. Uh, Matt H, if Rago, reset, please. Let me do that. Uh, let's see if Ragas, Ragas here. Yep, sure. I've added that to the list, and hopefully it is on this system. Uh, okay, wicked. We're, we're getting somewhere. Love like the boot up screen and everything. Raga gave me cancer on the NES. I think I never, uh, I never been the same after playing that game. I played it a lot on the C64 and, and I had a lot of fun recently trying it out for the Unlock Pocket. It brought back a lot of memories, man. And then the next day, I believe someone asked me to play it on uh, on a Mr. Stream, on a Mr. RK stream. And that again was a lot of fun to try out. So we're currently trying out Geograph Seal. Um, let's let's try it out. Is it going to be a shmup again? Love these intros, man. What a great computer this had. Just imagine, like, your uncle or someone went to Japan and, and they brought you this back, man, and you're loading this up and you're thinking, that's the damn Death Star, man. I'm going to blow that thing up. Um, but then I imagine all the text and everything was in Japanese, and as a kid, you would have had to learn some kind of Japanese to get everything up and running. Absolutely amazing. What a great machine, guy. guys. What a great machine. And I intend to discover more in a mister. In fact, my 512 is quite fit, really, really filling up, and that's mainly because of Saturn stuff on there. I think what I will have to do is maybe pick up a one terabyte one. I've seen them quite cheap for around 73 pounds 
or maybe even 67 right I've, I've seen them cheapish but I, I want them to get down to like maybe the 50 or below mark and then then I'll upgrade I know I can have stuff on the network and all of that I, I can't be bothered I, I don't I've, I've got um, my laptop's got three terabytes of um, m2 2280s in there like a one terabyte and a two terabyte in there i've got external drives and everything i just can't be bothered plugging them in there i've got like a 17 inch laptop remember i'm very very limited on space um so a lot of people that tell me they have like the luxury of in uh, a space they might have a server somewhere uh yeah so i, I, I space is definitely an issue with me <laughs> tms well answered <laughs> Sixty-eight thousand. okay what are we doing here i get feeling this might be a little bit tricky to play Am I, am I actually controlling stuff or is this the demo? Do I need to bloody press the space bar? What am I doing here? Hey guys, if you're just tuning into the stream, we are looking at the X68000 core uh, on the Mister. Uh, if uh, if you're enjoying the stream and you enjoy the content, pressing that like button really does help. It helps uh, it helps the, the the channel kind of go out in uh, in in well get out in YouTube, right? Um, I always like to have like 10% likes, but often my videos only get like maybe five to seven percent likes, right? So, but it's always appreciated, right? If if you enjoy the content, uh, you know, pressing that like button really really does help. But I understand if you don't want the 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 youtube or, or like google building up a profile on the stuff that you like so uh completely get that but you know anytime it is pressed it's definitely appreciated so let's have a look here am i am i playing oh okay i'm in there now right there's an enemy there i get interesting right i mean for an era this was in okay that's making me jump yeah definitely interesting right as you can jump up on him, yeah. Again, this is one of them games that we, you you would have really had to play it back in the day, right? It's not. See, when it comes to like retro games, a lot of these, um, yeah, a lot of stuff like this. It's, I don't think it's anything I'll play beyond beyond kind of testing this out on on a stream, right? If I had a choice of playing it and I'm, I'm chilling out and let's say I'm playing like the X68000 on like my Rogue Ally or something, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is not a game I would try and play, right? I think this game was something that was around in that era and it kind of it kind of you had your fun in that era with it right that's it like afterwards yeah just just not kind of worth going right unless obviously you got the nostalgia for it you played it uh, guys i'm interested in chat did anyone or has anyone or did anyone actually were you one of the ten thousand people that got an x68000 you know what i think I think it may not be 10,000, I might have misread your comment, I think it might have been 100,000, you know, because I remember, I remember reading an article on it and, and kind of getting something along those lines. Um, but yeah, interesting, interesting to see this stuff, right? You know, this, uh, at a time, graphics like this would have been cutting edge. I mean, I, I definitely would have liked this game as a kid, right? I, I, I like stuff like this, it just felt like, you know, don't forget you had imagination as well. So when you're a kid and you're playing stuff like this, you, you really, it, it, your imagination takes you further. I mean, when we look at, I was looking at a, a box art for an Atari 2600 game today, and I can't remember what it was. And I was looking at a box art, and I thought the box art looks so good. You think those mutant insects are going to be attacking you, right? And when you look at the game, there's like a couple of rectangles and a, a little square fire coming at you with one uh, color background, right? But in your imagination, that is what you think that insect that's attacking you like looks like. Okay, let's do a, a good uh, the next one. So the next game is twin b guys so let's go twin b and if not we're gonna go okay so what, did, what was the name next to it it was delta twin b so is it under d do we have it here am i going blind am i going blind right we don't have we don't have twin b right i don't have delta twin b okay um just to double check no it's not there right so Sorry guys, no twin B. Then the next one, Cho Ren Sha. Cho Ren Sha. Ch -ch Cho Ren Sha. Nope, no Cho, Cho, Cho Ren Sha. Evil guys, apologies for that. Right, next one I'm super happy to do is Castlevania. So, ooh, <laughs> looking forward to this one, guys. Oh, okay, wicked. Uh, ah, double jump. Okay, TMS, nice one. Sorry. <laughs> Try turbo CPU. No, all, all good. We're, we're going to move. All right, you know what? For, for the sake of it, let's put on turbo CPU. We will, we'll put on turbo CPU, right? And I'll only take it off if there's a reason to take it off. Sorry. If not, we'll, uh, we'll leave that, right? So let's just go on 
save settings oh did i actually okay i must have saved the controls right because it saved it right oh okay let's now go let's give it a reset for good measure and see if this works um right let me try and get some names down here as well uh right okay um to Scheme. okay before jumping flash oh interesting okay jumping flash i remember looking at that and thinking wow like this is cutting edge stuff uh on um on on the playstation i was like wow like a first person platform game right what am i doing okay cool right uh, if, if are we getting into game here sorry guys i'm trying to have a look at uh, dave nice the first game we started with was choren shark uh, 68k we did try it and it's fantastic uh, but it was the first game we started this stream with so uh, maybe at the end if we kind of run out of stuff i'm going to try and limit the stream to two hours because two hours just gives me a, ch a chance to uh upload it to twitter so dime uh Right, I have to look at that spelling, right? Because it obviously it, the word makes no sense to me more right at the end. Okay. And what else have we got down here? Final Fight. Uh, we haven't tried, uh, Marcos, we haven't tried Final Fight yet, but that's something we definitely intend to do. Starblade, Ciclinio, the first. Let's do that. Starblade's the fighter, yeah? If I'm, if I'm thinking correctly. Wow, okay, good intros. I'm going to have a little sip of my drink because I'm talking so much, my mouth's kind of dry, so... Shame there's no sound for this intro, right? And, um, oh, wow. Again, guys, like, seriously, like, Castlevania, one of the best franchises. I always say, right, do you guys, let's do something in chat, right? Do you guys, if, you, if, if you've got free games, free game series, right? A series of free games, not free individual games, free game series that you can take with you to the desert island and you're not allowed to play anything else, right? Uh, Parodia Star, noted, sir. Um, so, right. Um, free game series that you can take on a desert island and that is all the series you can take, right? Um, I'm going to tell you what my three are going to be and these aren't in any particular order, right? Monster Hunter, even though Monster Hunter World is, has, I'm burnt out by it, I'm sure I'll play the next one. So Monster, the Monster Hunter series, the Street Fighter series and the Castlevania series, right? If I could take those three series and, and that's all the games I could play in the, for the rest of my life, I think I'd, I'd generally be quite happy, right? So... Okay, so player one, Ito. So just fire away with your free games, but don't put me in block capitals because I'm going to start looking from over here. Okay, so hold on. The Amiga one is based on this one, isn't it? How come there's no sound, man? I was, I was hoping for a banging soundtrack. At bay. Can I go behind it? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. There's some of the Castlevania games where you can go behind that uh, thing and... I'm going to die on this one. I died on the first enemy, man. Damn it. Uh, Castlevania, Super Mario, Resident Evil. You know what? 4C, that's, a, that's a definitely a good combo. Can I go out? No. Okay, need to play very street. Oh, I've got a better whip now. Oh, you know what? I suck. I like Castlevania games, but obviously I'm more of a Metroidvania fan, right? I did play the original Castlevania on the NES. And I can attack the fire, so that's good. Okay. Come on, how many hits is the first damn enemy? I like Castlevania, but this is going to drive me nuts. Okay. Wow. Okay, five million hits there. And he always walks up the stairs and looks like he's constipated. I need to go to the toilet. Oh, yo. Yeah. Seriously, is this the game? Am I playing some broken version? Am I getting the most annoying thing in Castlevania, right? Which is the, the Medusa heads and the other thing I bloody can't stand is those flea men, right? Those flea men and those Medusa. I've had nightmares about those. You know, beat the boss, but the Medusas just do my head in. Ah. Guys, you know what? Seriously, is there is there not another way of doing this, right? I need to I need to pick one of the other characters or something. Oh, you're on stage ten. What the hell am I doing on stage ten? Oh, hold on. I'm wondering whether. Okay, has this got someone else save games in there? 
let's have a look if there's other stuff there. Okay, so Forces, uh, Castlevania, Super Mario, Resident Evil, Matt H is Super Mario, Metroid Prime and Gran Turismo. Okay, a nice variety there. You've got a racing game is there. Uh, the game is incredible with MIDI enabled. Well, at the moment, I've got no bloody sound at all <laughs> for that. So that was uh, that was all right. You loaded the safe file on car. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right. Excellent. Okay, Doom, Sonic and Dodon Patchy. Okay, Scalino, respect that. Let's, um, Medusa heads are the, oh man, I, I hate them. You know those bits in, in Symphony of the Night and uh, to be honest, all the 2D Castlevanias, all the Metroidvania ones, you get like the clock tower parts, right? Where you got to go up there, you've got the gears rotating one way, then another way. You've got all of that and you've got the Medusa heads that turn you to stone. Oh man, I can't tell you the frustration, but I'll get past it. And I'll tell you what though, once you get past that part, it's almost like, it's like you're relieved, right? I mean, you know, I'm saying the Castlevania guys looks uh, constipated, right? Uh, okay, what's sound mode? There was no sound. Okay, so... Oh, is that just the... So sound test mode? Okay. Right, what's... what? There's something weird going on here. Look, I'm testing the sound and it's not coming out. So that is very, very weird. Okay, so... um, Okay, so how do I... I just want to... How do I... Okay, name delete. Let's let's right. Okay, so that can that can be deleted. What's that start? Select start. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what. Okay, all right. We started at a different level. Let me see. Okay, we'll 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 go through on this level, right? I kind of want to start at the beginning. Save falls on there. You know what I really like about uh, Castlevania, obviously, is when you look at these enemies, right, and you know they're in later games as well, right? It's just nice seeing. You know, I should really go for every candle in case there's a power up there. Um, Rondo of Blood is, is good on a PC engine, but that's another bloody difficult one as well, man. Uh, but that is one thing about these games, right? They're known for their difficulties, aren't they? I want to I wanna try and do the beginning level as well. And guys, if you're into like the, the, the Game Boy Advance Castlevania games, um, there's not so many hacks out for... Uh, there's not so many hacks out for... Am I? Am I jumping down? Right, let's grab that money. Um, so there's not so many hacks out for Circle of the Moon, right? But there's a lot of hacks out for... Um, am I jumping? Okay, yeah. Weird, weird colour choice here, right? Um, yeah, so there's a lot of hacks out for Harmony of Dissonance. And... Uh, and Aria of Sorrow, like a lot of really, really good ones. Um, yeah, really, really good ones. Some recolors. Um, there's one where you can pick lots and lots of characters, man. Uh, there's one, if, if you're after a good hack for uh, Harmony of Dissonance, right? Look out for Revenge of the Findicicle. Really, really weird name. Just how it kind of sounds. Revenge of the Findicicle, right? Ooh! I mean, does it get any worse than this? Ah! Right, so... Uh, yeah, Revenge of the Findicicle, right? Uh, wow, 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 no! Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's definitely a ROM ha hack worth checking. You can be Mega Man in it, but you can be the guys out of Bloodlines in there, right? I'm just going to give this a reset because I can't kind of restart the game. <laughs> Revenge of the Creamsicle, no, no, it's definitely uh, Revenge of the Findicicle, right? That's how you kind of said. That's what they named it. I've got no idea what kind of why the reasoning behind that name, but that's what it's called. But you can be Mega Man, Mario. You can be Eric Lacard, is it? And John Morris. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other characters you can be in there as well. So it's definitely, definitely w uh, worth checking out. Ah, okay, wicked. <laughs> No worries, man. I, I I like that joke as well. Don't worry, it's, it's all good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, wicked bloodlines and Rondo of Blood are my favourite. Yeah, do you know what? You, you you definitely so bloodlines is 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 okay. Rondo of Blood is I love it, but man, is that game difficult, right? That game is that game is tough, right? Okay, I thought I deleted this, so let's go name delete. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Stage ten. Wow. Okay, we've got even got stage twenty four here. So let's um delete this. And hopefully, how do I just get out from here? I don't want to... Okay, name entry. Ah, okay, cool. It's not letting me type. That's, oh, okay, I need to do it with a... Right, okay, because I thought it was a PC. I, I could actually... Uh, I could actually use the keyboard, right? But it wasn't working on a keyboard, right? So... Okay, cool. We're going to start from the beginning now. 
Maj wow, look at that. Amazing. Absolutely love it. Um, Silk said, yeah, man, of course you can make a request, man. Requests are welcome. Was, was Super the name of a game? Because I've wrote it down now because you wrote it in Block Capitals. Uh, you won't have music because it's... Oh, okay. You picked the third option again. Oh, sorry, dude. You, you won't have music because you... All right, let's give it another reset, guys. Sorry. Final time, right? So let's try and get this right. So let's get the music. Let's start it from the beginning. And let's go reset the game and press 1 on the tech screen. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. When it's loading, yeah? Ah, oh, got ya, got ya. Okay, one there. Right. Sorry, guys. Should really play... Um, more... No way! <laughs> Excellent! Uh, ph phalanx, yeah, no problem. If I have that, we can run that. But guys, remember, try and keep them in block capitals for me, please, yeah? Oh my god, we have sound now. That is amazing. Um, so let's delete it and start it from the beginning. You know, as as they say, third time lucky, but in our case, uh, it was more like uh, fourth, fourth, fifth time lucky. Cool, awesome. Thank you for that. And sorry that I don't always uh, get clocked with the chat, but we're going to get here quick. And we're going to delete this name. We're going to go name entry. We're just going to call ourselves dot, 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 dot to make it nice and quick. And, okay. And we should be, we should be, we should be a go-go, baby. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so this is more like it. My buttons are the wrong way around, but you know what? I'll live with it. I don't want to change it because it will change the buttons for the entire core. Uh, so that's, that's good. Oh yeah, we're jamming guys, we're jamming. Yeah, it should be should be enough for you guys to enjoy as well. Do you know what, right? Like it, I, I DJed for a number of years, nightclubs and, and pirate radio in, in London, right? And it was a it was a stage where I was away for gaming for the most part. Mainly played like a kind of N64 stuff, right? Uh, multiplayer, Goldeneye and all of that. But I'm telling you, right, if I still kind of done that vice, I don't do it anymore. Uh, but if I did. I'd be rocking these game beats, man. I'd be remixing them. I mean, a lot of my friends, um, they've gone into sound production, the ones that are still in the scene. And, and you know, they're rocking stuff on, like, uh, they're doing a lot of club work. They're, they're playing on stations like um, like House FM. They, they've made quite big names for themselves within their kind of niche. However, UK Garage isn't that big anymore. So a lot of them have kind of moved into House, which I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of House, right? I, I don't mind House. I started with house, but then when when kind of U.S. garage and U.K. garage became a thing, that is what I kind of got into a little bit more, right? Um, but yeah, so they're, they're all still around. In fact, I'm supposed to be meeting up with one of them um, who I haven't seen for like a good, like we're talking like almost 20 years, just before I got married, right? So maybe 18 years or something. And um, yes, yeah, so I've got to meet up with him, and um, yeah, he was kind of talking about doing like a, a jingle or something for the for the channel. And I said, yeah, sure, man. I said, I can, uh, you know, if you do a jingle, I can always tell people that if they want any stuff uh, done, they can come and see you. Um, but, I, you know, I'm after a particular kind of thing. But to be honest, I don't really feel I need a custom jingle. There's enough there's enough gaming soundtracks out there. I rocked Legendary Axe on my intro uh, for years, and I still do. I've got different intros now, but I absolutely love that intro. And, and I'm quite good just using that as one, right? I don't need to, uh, I don't need to have lots and lots out there. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, guys, so moving on from like the Nez Castlevania to this one, absolutely banging, guys. But again, you know what? Once the Metroidvanias came out, right? Oh, what? Oh, wasn't there food in the original one? Oh, I've been trolled in this one, man. I've got some... I told you I hate the flea men. Bloody flea men. Said I hate them and... Oh, man. Look at that from... Where I thought I was going to get food. I got trolled. I might as well go down and... To the fishy men. Whoops. Have you got any... Nope. Okay, I thought... Maybe like in Rondo. You know the jump and the flip back? Maybe it'll have something. Do you not really like an area of sorrow like this part of exactly the same thing, right? We've run this for quite some time. This is fantastic. But next we're gonna keep it Konami and we're gonna go Gradius 2. So let's do Gradius 2. Ooh, okay, Gradius 2. Let's do Gradius 2 arcade, right? And we can maybe check check the other one after. Um Okay. Um, we keep reset game. Okay, just have a look at some of the chat. Uh, Golgo, was that a name of a game? It's not in block capitals, but I'm gonna I'm gonna write it just in case it is one, right? Because, right, Golgo. Uh, what else do we have? Um, 
Wicked. Thank you. I believe Blanks uh, has an opening disc uh, needed to be played, but looks real nice. Okay, cool. At, on Atlantic 252, Patreon Tube. Okay, you get the MT Pie for your Mr. Sound Cut. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, no, I've heard great things. In fact, a friend of mine's got it. When I go and see him, I'll get him to demonstrate it to me next time. I think he got it for like some of, um, maybe some of the, some, some of the PC games, uh, the AL46 core. This is looking really good, by the way. Um, uh, so, right, okay, oh, okay, we've got a game there. I think I've wrote that one down, you know. Yeah, I have, I've wrote that down. Please don't make me write it again, TMS. I've definitely written that one down. Um, oh, that's a cheap price. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, I'll make, I'll take a look. Wicked. Oh, Mr. Addons sells them for 45. Right, wicked. Okay, that's decent. Mr. Addons is, uh, yeah, Mr. Addons is a friend. So, like, like I said, this stream sponsored by them. And, um, yes. When it comes to anything regarding Mr. and Cells, guys, I just want to point out, I do have a strong bias towards Mr. Addons. However, you know, I'm, I'm not shy to point out other sellers as well, you know. Uh, some some other places might make, uh, make, 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 like, better purchasing options for you, especially if you're outside of the US. In the US, Mr. Addons, first choice, you know, unless you want to... Uh, kind of get everything yourself and put a kit together yourself right because like for example uh, putting a kit together yourself will, will probably be like a hundred or 150 dollars less than buying one pre-made but it just depends convenience uh, quick delivery customer service support everything else that you kind of want to get with it again this looks good so it only gives you one credit there right unless there's a way of putting more in Guys, this looks this looks fantastic, and because it's only got two buttons, hopefully my missile and my fire will be one button. Love it! Oh man, I hate missing them. Yes, missile and fire is one button. That's one thing I can't stand in the arcade versions, man. Don't get me wrong, I'm not dissing the arcade versions; they're fantastic. But man, playing them on like a pad, my fingers bloody hurt, man. My fingers, I can't take it. I'm missing all of that. There's a certain act to it, right? You know, these games are... are wicked. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's not the mounting part. Ah! Okay, I thought I would've got a power-up. Is that the two mountains here? A little too scared to go underneath that. Guys, this is a great computer, man. Seriously, like, imagine having this and all your arcade games on it. Because, you know, even when I played my Amiga, like, games that I played in the arcade, I wanted to play ports of those, right, on my Amiga. Now, the Amiga had some good ports, like we found out during uh, a recent Amiga stream dedicated to... Um, ah, man! I hate the back shot. Um, yeah, dedicated to... Um, dedicated to Amiga arcade ports, right? And that was a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, but this one, this one's got super arcade pools. I mean, wow! This, I'll tell you what, this was so good that if I was if I was living in Japan, right, and I got this as a computer, and this is the day before, like, say, internet was a thing, or at least a big thing, right, I would have, um, I would have wrote home to my parents, and I said, dear parents, I'm in Japan, and I'm playing this amazing computer, and it's called the X68000, right, and, uh, my parents would have wrote back saying, are you also on drugs? Because we've got no idea what you're talking about. But I would have wrote that letter, I kid you not. I would have wrote that letter and said, this computer is so darn good, I feel that you need to know it, right? You know when something's really good and you just want people to know? Like, I feel, I'll tell you what I feel like when I'm playing this, right? I feel like, does anyone remember the, the, uh, the, the, the tampon? Oh, it is that part, right? Okay, where's the magic spot? Okay, so, does anyone remember the sanitary towel adverts, right? The tampon adverts, right? Where, obviously, the ladies put on uh, their sanitary towels, and when they put them on, they go a bit crazy, right? We had an advert in the UK where they go rollerblading with Dalmatians, right? And as well as going rollerblading with Dalmatians, um, like, on, on one occasion, they've got a car, and it's a hot day, and they want, they, they, they want a convertible. So what they do is they take the car to a garage, right? And they, um, they get the garage to, um, chainsaw the top of the the uh the car off so they've got a convertible uh that's 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 how i would have felt if i was young on there i would have felt like super excited to do something crazy like that right uh but now I'm, i mean now i'm fairly excited right i mean i'm i'm chill i'm, I'm good i'm enjoying this right good let me okay got my missile 
I'm missing a lot of those things. Come on! Damn it, man. You know, these games are so much better on an arcade stick as well. I didn't want to, obviously, I wanted to play this on a, on a pad. But um, I did a um, an analog pocket arcade cause only stream earlier on today. Come on. And uh, with that, I used... Um, Okay, cool. We, we're done, right? Can't, can't, oh, well, it's going to be more than three lives. Wow, this is very, very generous. Hey, guys, if you're just tuning in, super duper. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good night. I hope you're having a good evening, wherever you are. We're looking at X68000 uh, on the Mr. FPGA. The Mr. FPGA, the gift that just keeps on giving, right? Not only am I playing and getting nostalgia kicks for things that I grew up in, I played and I liked, uh, I'm also getting an, well, I'm getting an experience trying out a new computer and an absolutely fantastic computer at that with some great arcade ports like this one here like Gradius 2 uh, and Gradius 2 is something we're waiting for right that's something that's been worked on by uh, a big shout out to Alf Scutnabber man um, really really good developer does a lot of reverse engineering work uh, work in fact when I uh, when I had done the recent interview with Hotego you know, let me go double. I don't really like double, but it might help in this part here. Uh, when I done a recent interview with Otago, and I said, look, who are your favorite developers? And he said, the guys that he respects more than anyone else in the industry are people like Fertek, Fertek and Ulf Skutnabber, right? Skutis77. Um, because, because of the work that they do, because of the depths they go into, because of the reverse engineering stuff they do, because of the decapping, uh, all the schematics work they do, uh, he's super, super like respected those. But he's working on the Konami Twin 16 system, so hopefully we'll get a core of that in the future. Let me load another game and then I'll... Uh, right, so the other game is Mad Stalker. And... Uh, okay, I don't have Mad Stalker. Sorry about that. Let's go over to the next one. Ooh, Flying Shark. That would be interesting. Flying Shark. Here we go. Excellent. Right, let's read some of the chat. Wicked Outrun. <laughs> I've got Outrun on the list, you know. I think I've brought it on the list. Have I? Have I? Okay, I haven't. Let's add that to the list, list right? Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, we have tried. Oh, Zugyu, uh, we haven't. Have you all tried Zugyu? Oh, reset. Okay, cool. Let's give it a reset. Zugyu, let's write that down. If we've got it here. If we've got it here. Oh, Flying Shark. Okay. Uh, let's see if it goes into a little bit of a demo. Okay. Yo, Retro Medical. Damn, I'm late. No, you're not late. You're right in the middle of it, man. We're, we're an hour into the stream and I intend to stream for another hour. So welcome to the stream, man. And guys, these streams are, are long, so I don't expect everyone to watch and participate in them the whole time. Catch what you can. Enjoy what you can. If you if you get involved in there, we're talking. You're talking to the guys in the chat. Wicked. Enjoy it. But, you know, we have things to do. Like, There's a lot of guys that I like that stream and... I, I, you know, I'm, I very rarely, I think there's only a few streams that I've watched the whole way through, right? Sometimes I watch something, some, sometimes I watch Bob from Ritter RGB, uh, some of his stuff, but then it gets a bit too technical and I'm like, okay, I'm, this isn't quite for me now. Um, sometimes I'll watch stuff from uh, Lou, Lou's, Lou's streams are really, really good, where he's setting up like different PC stuff, or I think he done like a, did he do a Groovy Mr. stream? I know he done a PC AO46 call before, uh, before the 0 MHz one came out. Uh, what other streams were like? Obviously, streams that I really do enjoy are like tournament ones for, for Street Fighter, man. I mean, Street Fighter 6 is a... Uh, right, so I like Street Fighter 6, the game, right? But the streams aren't the most interesting streams to watch. Um, tournaments haven't been as exciting. Now, I never liked SF5, but I did enjoy watching competitive play in that game. There was some there was some good stuff. There was some good hype in that. You know, SF5 when Knuckle Do kind of dominated with Guile. That was kind of fun. Uh, the best thing in SF5 for me was one of them was uh, when Punk first started doing his stuff with Karen, man. Guy was amazing. One hit, uh, one hit, one, one, one poke hit confirms. Very, very sharp. Um, and Infiltration. Before Infiltration got cancelled, guys, like... Man, the guy was, guy was, guy's like one of the most amazing players to watch, man. Like, you know, he's like Justin Wong, the way that he runs away and annoys. Uh, uh, infiltration was very, very good at annoying people. And he annoyed people, but he was very, very good. Once he got going in, he just, he smashed you. And he always come out with new characters. Very, very kind of interesting to watch. And those streams are fantastic, right? So we've done Flying Shark. I got my butt handed to me. But while we're on the F, let's do Final Fight. Wicked. Hopefully it goes into attract mode. Um, I want to have a sip of my cherry drink. Um, uh, DA chip bag. 
uh, or the chip bag we've done Castlevania we actually spent quite a bit of time on this so it's very unlikely that we will be uh, revisiting that um, Naif and Ephriel like your selection Metroid reset please uh, right uh, here we go. Uh, yep. So Nath and um, yeah, Nathan Ebro, right? Your selection. Metroid, why Mega Man and Smash Brothers? Wow. Okay, that's that's quite an interesting one, right? Um. Okay. So what would I out of? Okay, if I had to pick one of those ones, I I would pick Metroid uh, out of those because I like the Metroidvania Metroids uh, a lot. I like them a lot, in fact. Um. And uh, Mega Man, I do like, but I'm, I find them very, very tough now. I don't have the patience to, to go through them. Well, let me take a little, a few sips of my drink, and then I'll we'll start this. Actually, let's watch the intro. I like the intro. Um, for anyone that, for anyone out there, right, that wants to get into streaming. I'd recommend keep drinks with you, right? I kind of end up keeping some fizzy drinks, but I, I don't drink um, I don't drink any energy drinks anymore. Um, I heard a lot of bad things about them, and, and in the end, I thought, all right, let me let me just kind of knock it on the head, right? Um, I do drink sugar-free fizzy drinks, though, but um, it's probably best to drink non-fizzy drinks um, because you don't want to get that gas building up while you're. Um, while you're doing it sometimes i'm doing very very discreet burps while i'm doing it and, and they don't usually get picked up you know but you know I'd maybe so what, what what i do do is i open my fizzy drink um i open the i open my fizzy drink and let some of the gas go out yeah man i, I like uh, and bro is that how you say it yo tms i am brew if is that actually is that actually the favorite drink in scotland because you know what we're told in london is it's the best one it's the it's the 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 best like drink in Scotland, right? So I I know Cody's like the best overall. I, I didn't want to pick him. It picked him for me because I took too long. I was gonna pick Hagar because I love the um I love the what is it? I love the okay the buttons are the bloody wrong way around on this. Um I absolutely love um the power the flying power driver. Guys, this looks this looks very very close to the arcade man. Wow I wonder if there's like a side-by-side -side comparison video out, right? I mean, I can't hear any hip moves in there. I mean, sound effects, that's what I meant to say, no sound effects. Everything's there though, man. Soundtracks here, shame there's no sound effects. Now, um, from what I understand, this is this isn't, uh, this quite hasn't been updated for a while. In fact, um, we'll have a look, let me, well, can I pause it? No, no pausing, okay. Did anyone actually curiosity? Did anyone watch? Uh, did anyone watch High Score Girl on Netflix? It was kind of all right. There's, it's got some relationship parts in there that are annoying, but obviously the parts in the arcade, and you know, like you learn stuff about Final Fight in there. It was very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hold on, am I not getting all enemy types here? Hold on, where's Axel? Ah, oh, there's Axel. <laughs> My guy. I thought I thought we didn't have Axel in here. Okay, here we go. Wicked. A bit. T yeah, tires are. Oh, okay. No, uh, we don't really get so much tires around. Uh, we don't. I've, I haven't seen tires for a long time. You know. If it helps, I used to work with a guy called Kaiser, which I thought was a very, very cool name. K I Z E R, right? Kaiser. I always like when I first met the guy. I kind of, I kind of liked him straight away just because of his name being Kaiser, right? Because what's that move? Is it Kaiser Knuckle? It just sounds like something out of a fighting game, doesn't it? You know, Kaiser. Kaiser, Kaiser uppercuts. You know, just something like that, right? But uh, yeah, cool guy. He he turned out to be a very, very cool guy, actually. He doesn't work with me anymore, uh, but we did exchange numbers before he left. And, uh, oh, maybe maybe I should just drop him a random text, right? Do you know, I'll tell you what, guys. Here's a good... Here's You know, you meet a lot of people, right? And then, for example, you don't make any contact. And, and you know, you might think, oh, I know that person. Maybe I can speak to them and get some advice on this or get some help with an issue. And you're cool with that person, but you feel awkward because you haven't spoken to them for a while. What's a good tip, right, is do a message in your phone book. Uh, sorry, do, uh, do a message, copy it, where, wherever, WhatsApp or text. Just be like, hey man, look, haven't spoken in a while. Hope you and the family are well. I uh, hope everything's all right. You know, we're good. Just thought I would uh, just say hi because it's been a while, right? 
and just do that and and kind of send that out right so you can obviously do that on special occasions as well you know whether it's uh, whatever you celebrate right whether it's uh, christmas hanukkah i don't know uh, eid diwali uh yeah any anything that you guys celebrate right you know um you can you can celebrate on that right you can send the message out just saying look best wishes uh, best wishes for a holiday and it's really, really good because then all of a sudden if you've got someone that's an expert in let's say for example you buy a mercedes and i have actually got a friend that's um He's a manager in the Mercedes showroom, like manager of servicing, right? So if I wanted to get a service done, and I know I'm not going to get ripped off, I can just give him a shout. Um, and it's not as awkward, right? I mean, you've got friends that I've got friends that I can speak to and I can, um, you know, it doesn't matter if I haven't spoken to them for years. I can just call them and be like, yo, like, what's up? Like, I've got I've got a friend that um, he does ANPR, automatic number plate, uh, automatic number plate recognition. And... Um, so I've got a little bit of a perk, right? I don't, I don't take him up on it, but for example, I can in any of the park, in, in any of the, in any of um, the, 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 the 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 parking spaces his uh, company manages, I can just give him my registration and, and go, get on a white list. I was on a white list for his uh, for my previous vehicle, but I haven't I haven't contacted him um, for my new vehicle yet. And the funny thing is, I was out shopping one day and he was at in a car park, and I said, "Oh, what's up?" And he was like, oh yeah, we've, we've just won a contract here. I was like, cool, man. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was kind of interesting to know. But you know, someone like that, I can call all the time. Very, very nice guy, right? Um, let's go Hagar, because I just want to do a couple of uh, PAL drivers, right? <laughs> uh, but that, that's interesting. But yeah, good kind of social thing, like drop people a text once in a while, just see how they are. And it kind of comes in handy, right? At a later stage, you know, because if you want to get in touch with them, you never get the, hey dude, you haven't like spoke to me for ages, but now that you kind of need something, you're in you're in touch with me. And now, now it's easy, right? Who remembers the days when before mobile phones, right? That yeah, it was a house phone. You had to speak to a family member sometimes. Well, I imagine you know older now we'll have we'll have our own. Uh, oops, we'll, they'll have their own phone lines. Uh, you had to you had to have a phone book, right? We had to write the numbers down. And do you remember early mobile phone cards? I remember the first phone card I got was. Um, you could only store 90 numbers, so once you kind of hit 90, you have to pick and choose the people whose numbers you wanted in there. Was uh, was really good. I remember getting a SIM card that um, that allowed me a hundred and uh, 180 numbers, and I was like, wow, I can have double the contacts, man. That was uh, good times, right? Good times. I remember those old phones, right? Everyone seen Final Fight? Let's do a couple of uh, let's just do let's do lariats until we die, and then we're gonna see him, uh, you know, strapped with. Uh, we'll see the continue screen, and then we do something. Right, the music sounds a little different to uh, the arcade here. Again, I'm just going to go Lariat out. Guys, by the way, if uh, if I'm a mister, right, in under arcade, it must be under arcade alternatives, right? If you check arcade alternatives or arcade offset, it's one of the folders. You've got a hack of Final Fire where you can pick, like, all different characters, including some of the enemies, right? It's very, very interesting. Okay, cool, right? We should see the dynamite. What's our next game? The next game is Raigar, which I didn't actually know was out here. Wiki, let's have a look. Galaxian 2 is good, all right? Not really my game, but you know what? We can uh, we can certainly do that. We can certainly do Galaxian 2. Uh, let's have a look. I made an intro uh, Peter Griffin <laughs> into Yoshi's. Oh, nice, okay. I made an intro with me laughing like Peter Griffin and then into uh, Yoshi's. Oh, nice, nice, okay. Uh, right, okay, so let's... Uh, Let's go HDF, and the next game is Rygar. Rygar? Oh, do we have Rygar? I've just passed it. Really need my alphabet. Right, um... No, we don't We don't have Rygar. Sorry, sorry, guys. Oh, okay, this Daimakawamura, whatever. Uh, let's now go to that. Oh, here we go. Straight to D. We're there. I wonder if it's going to ask for a reset again. It seems to do that, which reminds me a little bit of Saturn Core. When we run a game and it doesn't work, uh, we go, um... We, um... We do a reset, don't we? Here, oh, Ori the Retro Gamer, how you doing, man? How you doing? I uh, hope you're well, man. That's uh, the second stream yourself and TMS are attending today, so thank you for that. Ah, oh, okay. Right, it's the name for ghouls and ghosts. Fantastic, good stuff. Difficult game, but we'll give it a shot and we'll die quickly. Okay, guys, that was me letting out uh, some of the fizz gas after after drinking, um, you know, like a, like a cherry drink. I like cherry. Oh, wow. Okay, I just realized Pixel Cherry Ninja likes cherry drinks. Funny story. 
I actually like coconut drinks as well. But coconut water's gone really expensive. I used to pick it up from Asda, right? It used to be £1.20. And like, inflation has gone so bad, like in London, that that same, that same carton of juice is it's gone up from one pound 20 to 12 pound 50 okay that's an exaggeration it's gone up to two pound it's nearly doubled in price uh which is like you know it's like i was buying this i was buying this very very recently right everything's gone really really expensive man ah. <laughs> quack 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 Again, love this soundtrack, man. Big shout out to uh, my buddy Terminator2K2. Uh, also check out his channel. It's Chris's Retro Gaming. He switches uh, this game on just for the sound sometimes. Right, so I got told... Ah, that gives me the... Char ah! Ah, interesting. Wow, that is quite a powerful charge shot. I was expecting a charging projectile, right? And here's how lame I am. I saw so many images of, um, of that charge shot, right? But I never thought... I never thought it was a... Uh, like, just this. Wow, amazing. Wow, that is really, really good. Ah! Ah! What the hell? Okay, kind of, maybe I need to crouch and do <laughs> TMS, good timing, duck. Good on those, uh, good on those, uh, on those uh, emojis, right? Love it. Ah! Ah, come on. Ah man, okay, so this is a really good game though, should uh, get... Yeah, to be honest, the arcade ports on this are... Well, they're, they're very, very good. I mean, I don't know this game, like, as well as a lot of other people do, but it feels... Yeah, it, it feels like the arcade version to me. Like, I'm sure there's differences and, you know, guys, where this is their main game and they spend, you know, days... Um, you know, hours upon hours on this game would would be like, no, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. And I honestly don't. But as far as just the user experience goes, like, this feels so cool, com like, like compared to the arcade version, right? It feels amazing. Like, imagine having stuff like this on, like, the Amiga. I really like the charge moves. I wonder if you get different ones based on your weapon. That would be... Let's see. Oh, you do? Oh, I've got a... Wow, I've got an option. That is amazing. Wow. I like the fact that that's unlimited as well. I need to stop being greedy with that because I'll end up dying. So let's... Uh... Let's get these... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, come for me, come for me, bird. <laughs> ah, man, he did come for me, he got me. All right, cool. Wicked, let's do the next one. Three lives, I've got more lives. Nah, nice, game over, wicked. Again, what a great system. Let's see if Starblade is here. Yep, Starblade is here, excellent. Uh, bubble Bobble would be interesting. Yep, let's do Bub and Bob. Wicked. Starblade. Okay, what am I getting here? Am I going to get a fighter here? Or is it going to be something else? Um, so look. Did you get your burger? Yeah, I did. You know what? But by the time I went to the shop, right, um, I ended up getting a chicken burger because my daughter wanted a chicken burger. My niece wanted a chicken burger. So in the end, I was like, you know what? I just get free chicken burger meals, and, and and I did, and it was all right. It wasn't wasn't great. I should have just gone with my my half pounder, uh, but what I should have done was only got a half pounder by itself and got them chicken burger meals because I ended up getting free chicken burger meals, and we ended up throwing away a whole portion of chips. Right? How do I start this game? I'm pressing all the buttons. 
Any pointers here? Yo, it's Billy in the house. Someone, someone. Ah, Billy! <laughs> you watch your football, yeah? Wicked. All right. Look, if uh, if you're going to call out a game that we've done, we're not going to do that but we've got we've got a list right what we've got on the list is starblade parodius doom a game called super phalanx golgo maybe 13 outron zugu oh and i can't recognize my old oh, galaxian galaxian and bub bob uh so let's i can't let me give this a reset see if, if it's crashed or something but starblade I, I can't seem to do something there uh wicked who do you support oh i wonder actually i, I haven't asked Billy that I wonder if Billy's, I, I'm, I'm an Arsenal supporter in and out, but I don't care for football and I don't watch it, right? But I grew up in Finsbury Park, always Arsenal for life, man. Uh, can you try again, please, if you have two minutes to complete? Uh, Pizza Busters. All right, you know what, Philly? I'm going to move you to the top of the queue, right? Because you helped me set this up. So um, we will do that. So let's do Pizza Busters next. Sorry, guys, I can't, I can't get this working. I don't know if I need to... No, it's not it's not happening. So let's do pizza busters for Philly. And guys, Philly 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 streams a lot of stuff as well. Yeah, he streams, uh he does gameplay, he talks, he's he's good at games as well, man. Um uh we should play Fight Clay sometime as well. Um okay, so Silver just play Phalanx, not super no worries, no worries. I've got it down as Phalanx, so I'm gonna be going over to P uh when that comes. We've just Oh, okay, Philly. Looks looks interesting, man. Like it, like it. Uh, you might need X if free, but oh, okay. X if right, okay, cool, wicked. Thanks, thanks for that. Uh, Dixie flatline. Wow, okay. D Dixie flatline. Sorry about that. Uh, right, let's have a look. Oh, Bosconian, wicked. Right, let's write that down. That name rings a bell, Bosconian. And let's start again. Well, I, I, I wasn't expecting this stream to be um, as popular as this one is. Am I playing? Oh, okay, I've got off the bike. Have I got to bomb the paramedic? Or do I clear the way for him? Wait, look, he's the only thing I've got to shoot, right? Do I? I mean, I feel a bit bad, right? Am I, am I, am I, is he a joyrider that I'm shooting? Or is that a paramedic that I'm shooting, right? Like, am I doing it right, Phil? I could not, okay, mission incomplete, right, okay, but I do need to kill that dude, very, very interesting, right, I mean, looking at the title screen, I thought I was, um, I thought I was going to be the bike, maybe out running stuff, right, pizza busters, okay, oh, so I'm, you literally are busting the pizza delivery boy, I mean, to be honest, I find that quite distasteful, right, given the fact that, um, you know, a lot of these, um, you know, Uber Eats and Deliveroo drivers and these, uh, you know, these quick delivery drivers, they're very much exploited and, and they kind of earn below minimum rates. Those big companies really, really do rip them off, right? They set like really, really weird scenarios for them. Terrible deliveries and everything there. So, okay, mission completed. I got, and I feel kind of bad, right? Because it's a, you know, it's a, it's a difficult job. I think some of them might make okay money based on what they deliver and what kind of deliveries they take. But I've heard some terrible stories of them, man. Some really, really bad stories. Okay, let's uh, let's move on to another one. Yo, random game gaming moments in the house, guys. Random gaming moments is here. Absolutely awesome guy. He's also got a gaming channel. If you just want to watch games and lots of them being played without any chatter whatsoever, then he's your guy, man. He's your guy. Uh, right, what we've got? We've done Starblade. Right, let's do Parodius now. That's next on the list. Wicked random gaming moments. Is there a game that you would like to see? Uh, we can uh, we can get that on for you. Uh, wicked. <laughs> uh, right, Phil, is the end a game or is that just you? Um, is that just you saying something? Because I swear anything in block capitals I end up writing down. I'm in autopilot stream mode, but I haven't wrote that one down. If the end is the game, is the end? The... You know what? I'll check it on the list. No, the end's not a game. <laughs> okay, YouTube Shorts. Uh, should be a godsend for random gaming moments. Yeah, wiki. <laughs> I don't think random gaming moments does a short. So I'm subscribed to his channel um, and I do check out his stuff from time to time, especially if it's a game. Um, so what's good about random gaming moments, say, random gaming moments as well as Philly, is sometimes they play games I've got, I, I, I don't know anything about. So when I see it on their stream, I'm like, wow, I've got to kind of check this out, right? And and I love checking it out. So no worries, Nate, 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 Nate and Ephraim. Got to go to a new short on my channel. Wicked. No worries, man. All the best. All the best. Have uh, have fun. And uh, yeah, 
have fun and do your short. I don't do enough shorts. I always get told I should do them, but I'm never really interested. Okay, so far this is looking banging. Absolutely banging. I picked Octopus earlier. Shall I go Big Viper, who's my guy? Or shall I go... All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go Pentaru today. Right, we're going to go manual. Always, always manual. Fantastic. Wicked. So slow at the beginning, man. I'm like, so guys, for you guys that play Parodius, Nemesis, etc. Like, how many, uh, how many speed? I'm usually all right with one speed, you know. I'm, I'm usually okay with that. I don't really go for more than one speed. I find that speed fairly adequate, right? Um, I mean, you can do two a little bit. Wow, guys, this is looking solid. Is that his main fire? I think it is, yeah. It's the one... <laughs> love it we played this earlier as well yeah we played this on the unlock pocket we played we played uh played we played um we played the the, the kind of beta version right the hotago one um which which it had some graphical glitches when i got the the the, the bomb bell right that that just kind of it went a little bit funny there come on i need my option man My little baby penguin. Right, that, that was really interesting about ghouls and ghosts, right? Where you when you got that suit, you could have that charging attack. That that makes it really, really interesting, I have to say. Especially the fact that it's quite a it's it's quite a No! Worst possible one! Back to the beginning. I hate that one. I got cheated. Look at that. I, I got the wrong one and then I got done. <laughs> Herodias. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So after I lose a life, I can change my character. Very interesting. That's actually a good option in there, man. Oh, wow. Okay. wicked guys seriously the mist is so damn good man honestly like i'll tell you i'll tell you what i want obviously i want new cause for it right i love new cause right but honestly like if like if no new core ever came out for this right honestly the state that we've got the mister in now all the different systems and all the games available for it like i i would be happy i would honestly i would be happy it's great to see other new cores but seriously this system's just so darn good man Oh, I should have really focused on that to get the power up. I forget you can kind of keep your finger on uh, when you get the laser. You can uh, keep your finger on fire, right? Let's uh, let's go right at the end and get that. Do as much damage as we can. Okay, that's interesting. So. I can't press, right? So you know I tried to uh, select option there, right? As a power up. Now I can't I can't press that while holding down the laser. Okay, cool. That was that worked out all right. Wow, two options. Really? Like I I'll be good with a shield, right? If I can if I can get a shield now, that'll be wicked. Ah, uh, I didn't want to risk it. Right, I want to go for shield next before I go for another option. So that, that's interesting, right? Can't press the bank your power up or choose your power up button while you're holding down the fire button. That's that's super interesting. That's really funny, his belly button, just, just shoot him in that damn thing. <laughs> what a great boss, seriously.
absolutely love it right i should be able to get myself a shield which will give me a layer of protection uh but once we once we do this life we'll run the next game but guys seriously i played the arcade version yesterday on the mr this feels i mean this feels more complete than the arcade version right because the arcade version isn't, isn't quite complete yet so that's that's something good to have right wicked yeah i tried pressing it oh this isn't a shield i like i like the force field that goes all around you but you know what i'll take it right now to get another option and then i'll be at i'll be at critical mass man i'll be ah don't miss it yes i've got it oh nice well i can still get another option that's fantastic oh I always forget how what's the maximum amount of options you have. And like, see this over here. When you lose a life here, guys, it just sucks because you start like, you know, you've got a lot going on, right? And um, and you just end up, yeah, you just end up. It's just difficult. It's very, very difficult. I mean, look, I've got, all, I've got, I'm almost maxed out to what I want. All my shields gone though. I'm almost maxed out for what I want, and uh, it's still tough, right? But doing this, you know, doing this yeah that's it <laughs> next game doing this with absolutely nothing is is just nuts right someone said doom right was doom out for this and do we have it no we don't we don't have doom guys sorry uh someone said that's just super is there a game is it really a game just called super super hang on okay super okay no there's, no there's nothing just super let's go super street fighter 2x right with two buttons let's see what it's like sorry i've kind of chucked in one of my choices there but then we're going to do phalanx next as well oh okay sorry about that let me turn the sound down a little bit guys i'm not sure what's going on there but that's definitely deafening my ears i think this one's a bit dodgy you know i might have to uh, pick something else uh we had to put up with this what was so philly all right let me i need to let me quickly run another game Wow, that's bad. Um, let's go Phalanx. Okay, so Philly, really, was this was this was this not around when the ST was around, the Atari ST and um and the Amiga? Okay, what am I doing here? Right, okay, this is this gonna load or right, okay. So this is Phalanx, guys. Is there a particular way I can start this? Uh <laughs> computer says no, yo, Gov2018, how are you doing, my buddy? Um uh, okay, so Street Fighter Champion Edition plays better. Um so it came out before all oh right okay so it came out during the generation of c64 uh, uh spectrum everything there okay that's that's very interesting to know right Let, let's go phalanx again and then we'll do um then we do street fighter champion edition plays better okay well to be honest super street fighter didn't even load um sorry governor i hope you've been well bud um actually i've been meaning to call it call it call you know i'll uh I'll have to give you, by the time I finish this stream, I know you like going to bed earlier. I'll give you a call tomorrow. If not, give me a call tomorrow, bud. Um, let's have a chat. Um, haven't spoke for a while, to be honest, so it'll be good to chat. Oh, okay. What am I doing? Okay, I'm just pressing space. Is this going to do anything? No? All right, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for Street Fighter. Um, the one that Philly just said. So, where is it? Uh, oh, there's Star Wars here as well. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Right. Um... Wicked, that's like the BIOS and DOS section. You can increase system RAM. Okay, cool. You know what? I'm quite happy just uh, running and playing stuff. Um, so that's very, very interesting. It came out. It came out before. Wow, 1987. Okay. Wow. So, like, Philly, this is two buttons, right? Or is there an option for a six-button controller? To be honest, we're only messing about. So I'll, I'll just run with a. I'll run with a two-button controller. Okay good intro who's gonna be good with two buttons let's just go ryu man let's let's keep it legit i'm not sure okay no no worries man like i said we're just we're just messing about with this right we're like some people say experimenting so we are experimenting we're testing out this core and wow man imagine imagine like whoa okay the, the sprites are beefy okay punch and kick up Okay, that makes me cry. Why are there no sound effects? Okay, sounds all right, man. Yeah, it looks good. Have they got... They've even got the walk back animation, something the Super Nintendo didn't have. That's amazing. Needs missing CPS1 sounds off. Missing those sound effects. 
Okay, this, this plays really, really well, guys. Like, as a kid, if I got this, because... Do you know what? Remember playing on the Super Nintendo, and when Ryu walked back, they didn't have that walk-back animation? It was the same animation as walking forward, right? You know, and, and this one here, you know, and they, the way they walked back in that kind of defensive thing, look forward, back. On the SNES, they always just... This is... They, they had that animation when they walked back. And I think the Mega Drive... The Mega Drive version was the same, right? Do you know what? Um, Champion Edition is still played quite a lot, guys. Uh, if you go on Fightcade, it's very, very popular, man. Very, very popular. Very, very popular. Uh, so if, if you're looking, if you're good at if you're good at Champion Edition and you want to play it, get Fightcade and play it, man. It's it's really, really good. Um, yeah, Philly, we, we, there's no sound effects, though, man. I like so I was saying in uh, in the stream earlier, I think, or the, yes, a stream a few. I've been doing so many. Uh, everything jumbled jumbled into one, right? Um, I um, the thing that I, I um. I really like about CPS one is the sound effects, right? When 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 something gets hit in in CPS one, it feels like you're getting hit. It feels like it feels like you've been you know you've been hit by a car, right? But uh, yeah, CPS two it, it got a lot lighter, and and uh, missing those sound effects, it would have been. It, I mean, don't get me wrong, I would have played this right as a kid. I was a I was a video game crack addict, right? But um. I would I would have completely played this completely. Yo, Nathan, Nathan Ephraim, welcome back, man. I would have played this, but the sound effects are missing. But Philly, is that something to do with the core? Because you, you can't have Street Fighter without the sound effects, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. I always say that I like like low sound. I don't have the sound blasting up. But you know, I'm not that extreme that um, I don't have the sound effects playing. Okay, cool. Let's do the next one. But that, that was a good shout. That was a very, very good shout. So someone said Go-Go. Do we have a Go-Go game? Let's go Go-Go. No, there's no Go-Go there. Okay, sorry about that. Right, what we got after Go-Go. Someone said Outrun. Um, so I don't know if they were talking about the core. Um, I felt like it was a question about the arcade core because saying has that been fixed yet? Um... So I couldn't quite answer that. Uh, Zugyu was on the list as well. Uh, Zugyu, Zugyu to see you. Wicked. Um, right, let's have a look at some of the chat pop. Okay. Right, I'm digging this soundtrack, man. I would jump to that. Right, it stopped. That's a good jingle. You know what? Oh, oh okay. This is one of them, like, Thunder Force 2, right? Where you're moving around. Not exactly my cup of tea, but you know what? This stream is about variety, right? And that's what we're doing. We're doing variety. You need the MIDI sound, MIDI 2. Yeah, you know what, Matt H? Maybe, maybe at some point I'll, I'll grab it. Right now, honestly, I've got so much stuff. I'm quite happy, and I don't have everything loud, so I'm good. I mean, is am I not getting this? What the hell is going on? Okay, you just okay. So you kind of in one place. You just change the direction you're shooting, right? Well, I know I'm flying, right? Yeah, this is this is weird, man. This this feels like I'm on a roller. I've just come off a roller coaster. Yeah, this is this is this is nuts. Sorry, guys. I got right. Let's do it a little bit more. Wow, kind of like the way the way the screen's moving around, man. Yeah, whoa. Pick my head spin. Wow. Good soundtrack, though. Especially the intro soundtrack was very, very good. Liked it. Liked it a lot. Okay, I'm not even... I'm trying to get game over here. Right, the next game here was one of the Galaxian games. Uh, I may not have wrote down which number, but let's have a look. What do we have for Galaxian? Okay, so it's Galaxian 2. Because uh, I, I remember there being a number at the end of it, so that's good. The sound thing is a bug. Uh, no, oh, okay, all right, okay. Thanks, Dr. Johnny Bananas. Because, yeah, you can't have Street Fighter without the sound, right? You need the sound, okay. Oh, this is interesting. So when it... Before it loads 2... You're playing this. So this is this is very very interesting. This is this is the whole Ridge Racer saga, right? And the Tekken saga, where Tekken you played a game. I can't remember what it was. It was that space shooter game from Namco. And in uh, in Ridge Racer on the PSP, you played was it Rally Car or Rally Race? Rally Car, I think. Interesting. Oh, wow! I can move up and down. Okay, this is a proper schmuck, guys. This is this is proper, right? Okay. I didn't like the ones where you just kind of tied down, right? And you go left and right. 
Oh wow, there's a lot going on, man. There is a lot going on here. So this is a this is a good evolution of the Wow, okay, I like it, but that was game over. Right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is Bubble Bubble, and I think uh Ori Ori the Retro Gamer requested that. So let's do uh Bubble Bubble, which is at the end of the B. Right, and I'll take another sip of my cherry drink. Cool. Buster. Okay, we can write down Buster, dude. Okay, let's go with Buster. Okay, guys, this is this is looking pretty, pretty arcade perfect. So I, I love the bubble bubble soundtrack. Now, if that would benefit from MIDI, that would be wow, my guys. This looks there, there's probably little differences here, right? But wow, this looks very very close. I mean, you'd have to put it. You have to look in, inspect it very very closely to find differences, right? But wow, seriously. Yeah, this is this is spot on to the arcade man. See, I'm so confused now, because on this the button, right? So, if we talk PlayStation terms, some of the games are set up with circle as attack and 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 cross as jump. But in Bubble Bubble, it's cross to, uh, like, bubble and uh, circle to jump. Yeah, banging, man. This is, this is very, very good. Very, very good. I mean, if we didn't have the arcade core... I'd likely say this is probably the best version to play it, right? Unless unless someone knows a better version out there, right? Which I'm sure you guys may. Right, wow, this is this is very, very good. V wow. Amazed by how good this is, man. Okay, the next one is Bosconian. Let's check that out. Here we go. And, and uh, this game kind of rings a bell. I've kind of heard of it, right? Look here in the settings, you can see Core Turbo is on, this eliminates slowdown on gradients. Do you know, I actually don't mind the slowdown, but we have got Turbo on. We turned it on, um, we turned it on and, and kind of said, if there's a problem with a game, we'll do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm good with a slowdown in shmups, man. It kind of helps you navigate and uh, kind of get around. So we are good with that. Bosconian, do we have an arcade core of this? This, this rings a bell, like I've played this or I've done something with this particular game at some point. Hold on, is Bosconian in the... Is it in that Nova core or something? I'm pretty sure. Maybe I checked on the other pocket recently. Yeah, th this isn't really my thing, you know? Not not my thing. It almost feels like a, like a... like a Well, you're not quite in a maze, but the way everything's laid out, it kind of feels like it, right? So, yeah, it almost feels like, like Pac-Man in space. Like, from very, very far. If you get my point of just kind of gang and getting all these things, yeah... Okay. Oh, digging a speech, man. <laughs> okay, that's got me game over. That's uh, that's good enough for me, right? We're on a game called Buster now, and hopefully this game called Buster is fun. Okay, wicked. Um, awesome stuff. Okay. All oh, right. Okay, Zugia is a Bothconian homage, right? Okay, Overdrive affiliate. No problem. We haven't tried that one out, so we can do that for sure. Oh, okay. Need to do a reset. Today I learned that that text on my screen mean, means a reset. Um, what's that here? We've got a quells as well. Okay, no problem. Let me write that down. Um, cool, all right. Awesome stuff. Right, Buster. No idea what this is. And I absolutely love going in blind, right? Going in blind is brilliant. No idea what I'm going in. Oh, wow, we're looking good, guys. How are they doing that slide? I was trying to do a normal attack there, you know? Oh! I can't believe my sword has to charge! Okay, wow! I mean, for someone that likes mashing the attack button, that is no good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that sword charge thing, man. I mean, you should just be able to attack all the time, right? Interesting game, though, I have to say. 
like I said, I'm not a fan of the... Can you double? Oh, you can double jump. Okay. Uh, not a fan of the sword thing. But the game's definitely interesting. Okay, and your fire looks a little bit bigger when you're on that as well. Again, there's a lot of bugs in this core, right? Where we're not getting uh, we're not getting the sound. I really hope this uh, this gets an update at some point. That is the that is one that is one bad angle, right? Proper dodgy angle. Why not fall down there? I want to get the treasures here. I want to see what's in there. Okay. Okay, got heart. How are we doing for time? What, one, what, about 20 minutes left of the stream, guys. Okay, so the jumping attack is a slight, I haven't quite... No. Yeah, Philly, this is uh, this is an interesting game, dude. I haven't quite. I'm doing the slide, right? What? Can I? Again, I have no idea how I'm doing that slide. Okay, do I move it down as I land? So... Okay. You jump and then you press down when you land? Okay, that's 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 interesting. Okay, you can do it. Well, Alright, interesting. Yeah, I kinda knew that was gonna fall. Ah <laughs> Okay, interesting game, right? What we got next? Over overdrive or something, what was it called? Wicked. Oh okay, we've got we're getting some more games in here. Wow, 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 okay, so let's do a let's go to O. And I'm writing stuff down quickly. Overdriver, that's it. So we've got Overdriver, uh, Aquilis, Wicked. Okay, uh, the boss with the sword thing is amazing. Right, okay, yeah, it's a good game. I, I just don't like that your sword, you have to recharge it. But, you know, that that that's, you know, that's just me complaining. Because, you know, I, I do like to complain. I think the older the older you get, the more you complain, right? They say old people complain. So I've, uh, I've started complaining. Oh, need to do the reset. So what I do is when I load a game, I start writing, so I'm not exactly always looking at the screen. I'm kind of focusing on chat, Honban. And guys, thank you for uh, keeping it capital. Jayote Senke 2 plus 4. Yeah, no problem. Jayote, that's not a baseball game, is it? Jayote, or is that the Parodius game? Or is the, I know they begin with uh, Jayote Senke. Senke 2 plus 4. Okay, the slide, no, so the slide is just, as soon as you jump, you move it down and fire. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, that's, that's cool, that's cool, wow. Okay, this looks, this looks interesting. Just looking at it now. Okay, even the way the title screen is about to form looks interesting. So, wow, absolutely awesome, guys. Really, really good. Target, target one, buzz saw. Oh wow, this is interesting. I like the enemies in this, right? Okay, oh wow, okay. Okay, so this has got an interesting mechanic in there. Something I clearly don't know how to use. Interesting game. This is one of the games that you, you know, I'd, I'd watch a YouTube video on to say, it will teach me how to play this game. Super. Ah, 
that's that's interesting. You can put that in the way and kind of increase your fire. Puff though, cool. All right, that's nice. A quails, right? Let's do a quails. Okay, let's do something. Naughty, where is vampire? Me finds the exit himself. What's vampire saying? Is he trolling again? You're in the pocket for big mister. You will never give my... <laughs> Go, vampire, I'm trying to move away from that, dude. You're a good friend. You know what? It caused... It caused... Um, it just caused too much drama in the scene. It was giving Ultimate the scene a bad name. So let, let's move away. Let's just move away from that for a bit, man. I just want the ear to clear on that. So help me out here, bud. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so let's let's go into this game. Uh, and let's okay, now challenging. Okay, oh, hold on, did someone okay? No, no, right, cool. Hold on, was this the game that it looks similar to the game that was crashing earlier, right? Can I can I stick on to stuff? Interesting attack, something about harpoons, I absolutely love it. You know what, this game here, I have to say, this game reminds me of like an Amiga game. But the, the one thing uh, a lot of the Japanese stuff had is, the way their kind of pixel art was, it had a distinct style in it, and it, and it has that. But this feels like uh, something that may be considered a very, very good Amiga game. What do I do? Oh, okay, nice. Oh, nice, okay, interesting. <laughs> I put down a platform. Right, let's do the next one, right? So, what's this one? Carl, Carl, Carl something with a K. Let's see if that's there. Carl Densi Honban, yep, we've got that one wicked. Uh, oh, is it? Okay, cool, cool. I exited. <laughs> no worries, man. It's, it's, it's always good to have you anyway, Vampire. You're a good guy, man. And thanks for all your help with the MSX. And you know what? Thanks for all your help with uh, N64. So, guys, if anyone's unaware, uh, Vampire, um, Vampire was the guy kind of like documenting everything very, very nicely. He also made the database uh, that ran when you ran the N64 to give it the best and the most optimal options. So there's a lot of people that help out and do a lot of stuff in the background, a lot of stuff that improves the quality of life for cores and everything. And Vampyr is one of those people. So mad respect for you, bro. Always mad respect for you. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Um, wicked. Um, and didn't you make the database? No. Okay. So correct us because I got it from your site, right? Ah, oh, you just hosted it. Okay, cool. No worries, man. Well, apologies for that, man. He didn't make the database, but you know what? You hosted it and that's where I got it from. So thank you very much. And you're going to accept my thank you. Right, here we go. Let's run this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. Who am I going to be? Ah, you know what? Let's be a Makoto. Ah, go Makoto. Wicked. Uh... I love a list of all these games. Please. Do you know what? You you just have to go through the stream. What I can do is I can. Oh, you know what? If you're on Discord, um, yeah, just if if you join the Discord that's in there, or if you're any of the other Discord, send me a send me a DM if you want, or you know, yeah, send me a. Oh wow, interesting. Uh, if you send me a message over on Discord, what I can do is, uh, you know, a Notepad. I can just take a picture of it uh, and I mean a lot of the games I've played the crossed out so you'll have to read my bad writing and the crossed out stuff from there um, and then you'll be able to find most of the games um, but to be honest if you go through the stream uh, that might be an easier option right is is just kind of going through because you can see what the game is in the menu uh, at the time so uh, it depends there's different ways but I'm quite happy to um, yeah, to take a picture of this, uh, of the notepad I've got and all the games that were kind of requested on there, which most of them will be on there, apart from a couple that I chose. <laughs> she just faces the other way and does a dragon, that's brilliant. Love it. Yeah, Philly, good choice. <laughs> 
Again, what a great system, guys. Like, I would have never discovered this or played this if it wasn't for the Mr. FPGA. And you know what, guys? There's a statement that I use a lot, right? And don't get me wrong, wrong. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, don't get me wrong. I like other FPGAs out there, right? I love the analog pocket. Uh, there's future ones, like I'm really excited about the replay too. Uh, there's other ones that I would I, I'm interested in that I like, right? But I don't say this in vain. Mr. is king, man. Mr. is king. Absolutely. Now, don't get me wrong, something else else could come and dethrone the king right we could get ourselves another king right now mr is king mr is king guys like I'll, I'll say it loud and i'll say it proud and i'll even um i'll even have a t-shirt of that thing right uh, and there is a t-shirt available to buy on the channel merch right mr is king with a little logo on mine which is the dot on the eye uh, on there thanks to the nato designs um so yeah absolutely man mr is king and long live the king but if a stronger king comes over, does everything the mister does and more, then you know I'm, I'm happy to um, to kind of upgrade and use that. But I'll never get rid of, I've got two misters, I'll never get rid of them, you know. I'll have different uses for them, even if I take them out just for CPS2, I'll put them in different places. Never ever will I get rid of them, man. They're absolutely, what an amazing bit of kit. It's the best thing I've ever had in retro gaming since I started playing like emulation and stuff, right? It, it's just fantastic. Come on, I want him to kind of beat me. Yeah, he did. Wicked. Cool. Uh, yeah, so absolutely fantastic. What is next on our list? Next is a JOT Senkei, right? Let's run with that. Oh, okay. So you wanted to see number two and number four, right? So let's go number two first. We'll run with that. Yeah, this game is definitely nuts, man. And, and it's good. I had no idea what I was kind of going into. But I, I dig that fighting thing, man. This game legit looks like a joke. Yeah, Michael Jackson is definitely a joke. But it was kind of fun, man. Wicked. Mingi. Uh, this, uh, what does this core get a recent release? Uh, no Vampire MSX, I think it's been around a while. Look, let's have a look at the core a second. The last update was 2022, man. So we're talking like, what's that? Uh, a year and a half ago now. So no, no update. It's just, uh, Philip kind of helped me get everything up and running on this. So that was, that was nice of him. And it's something that I wanted to do. And I did a, if you have a look at your screen, uh, now Philip, uh, I did this poll on the channel. Uh, for these systems here so NES Master System N64 and X68000 and X64000 uh, 64 X68000 it just smashed it man absolutely smashed it uh, and won so that was uh, that was that was good uh, also guys channel merch available and you're going to see I was just shouting Mr is king right you're going to see a Mr is king t-shirt come up at some point uh, I I I want to do it because I want to take that off manually before I start the game the channel merch is available 10% of proceeds go towards core development uh, so you can, you know, giving something back to the community where possible. Where the hell is that Mr. There we go. Mr. Is King t-shirt. If you want to get one and you want to let know, you want to, you want to let know, you want to let people know that, you know, you, uh, you think Mr. Is King, then merchandise is, whoa, that's Chun-Li. That's my, okay, that's from another SNK game. I can't remember. Cammy. Oh my God. Wow, that's nuts. All right, let's go. Let's go, Nancy. <laughs> what a ripoff. Philly, thanks for letting me this game. No, 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 no recent updates, dude. Oh. Hold on. That's Cammy's music as well. Wow, nuts. Oh, wow, guy. I feel like this game is nuts. I can't. What? What a Street Fighter ripoff! Is so I feel like, Is this a proper game, or is this um, is this like a ripoff game? And and the Kami stage is is the best sounding stage in Super Street Fighter. Can I do a hooligan? Let me see. I can. Wow. Can you do a? No. Sorry, that wasn't the hooligan. I'm trying to do it. It's hard on pad. Bottom corner. The top corner now. Let me just go. Ooh, I lost the round there. Wow. I like Sagat. Oh, what? Is that the music you like the Sagat stage better, yeah? 
Yes, I get. Yeah, I like that as well. But Cammy's one's the most mellow. You know, when you play, um, when you play like Untold Rounds on Fightcade, uh, you kind of want the Cammy stage, right? But I do like the I do like the Sagat stage a lot. I tell you, my, my, my worst stages, right, are DJ and T Hawk. I can't stand those stages, man. Um, really, really want to get off those stages. I tell you, what's a really good option in Fightcade, right? You're playing like an arcade version, um, emulated on Final Burn Neo, right? Um, but what's really, really fantastic about that is um, if you press select, right? So the losing player, if they press the coin button on a character, it selects that stage for you. It's a really, really good thing that they've put in, right? Let's try number four now. Wow. I'm kind of intrigued to check number one as well. Oh, guys, we're, we're coming up to the last five minutes, you know. So, uh, going to be kind of wrapping this up soon. Yo, Charlie Cat in the house. Meow, meow. Okay, that is that is a rip-off of the Neo Geo logo. Wow. Um, Charlie Cat, I think you've just come in at the right time. We're going to finish very, very shortly, right? But I know... So, Charlie Cat, I always say, is the kindest person I've met on the internet. And I, and I stand by that, um, by that statement. Uh, so, this looks like it might be ripping off some SNK stuff and uh, uh, Charlie Cat let me know what character you want to see in this right so uh, pick your character let me know what you want to see so we've got um, we've got Chun-Li clone okay that's from maybe Samurai Showdown okay from Breakers maybe okay bye again Nancy <laughs> you that is definitely not me Hidimi Saki Sh uh, Shiori, <laughs> is that Athena? Shiori, well, Blood, uh, Mako Momo. So let me know what character you want to see. Yo, Raging Cajun in the house, man. Um, wicked. Uh, Charlie Cat, let me know what character you want to see. Um, you know what? If I don't see chat, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, wicked, good night, Ori. Um, let's have a look at. We'll go with uh, we'll go with Maya because I know Charlie Cat likes a lot of Neo Geo stuff. Um, he's a, he actually does a lot for the community, man. Collects a lot of rare stuff and and posts a lot of stuff on the forums. So, guys, you know what? This is this is this is this is fun. This is almost like someone's brought like Mugen uh, on here, but it's not exactly Mugen. Has she got? No, she hasn't got the jumping move. Okay. <laughs> Oh, she has got that nice, nice blue flame. Let me see if I can... Well, why can't... Oh, there's specials here as well. So I've got a level one special there. Hopefully I'll, I can keep it next round as well. I'm trying to do it. Nope. Where's it? Wow. I'm getting whacked by her, man. Don't mess with the karate. Wow, okay. Do you know what? Um, I know it wasn't asked for, but I've got to see number one, right? I've seen number two and four. Uh, I'm sure, Philly, you didn't select number one for good reason, right? But we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, and let's try and get this done. And Pacland was like the last request, at least, that I picked up and wrote down. So uh, maybe we can run on Pac-Man last. We we'll really need to keep it under two hours. So, ooh, time is... Time is of an essence. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. I hate when I do that. Uh, the auto fire thing, however, I triggered that. Right, let's go Pack Land. Final game. So Pack Land is something we're waiting on a on a core release for, something that Mr. X released the source code for. So that's something uh, that's likely going to come out for the Unlock Pocket. Uh, unlikely to come out on Mr., but you never know. It may come out for Mr., who knows? Uh, but that, that, that's, that's I know, something people are waiting for. Oh, OK, this, this definitely looks broken to me. Unless that's how the screen is. That that definitely feels... I oh, know. Here you go, guys. Right, we're going to finish up on this. Let's get the cherries. We want the cherries because I had a cherry drink. I've got cherry in uh, my 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 channel's uh, name. And uh, yeah. So guys, I'm not familiar with this in the arcade, right? But this might be a good version to play. <laughs> Absolutely banging. 
Be able to cut the time. Oh, we're coming down to the last one minute. Right, okay. Let me give this a reset and just run it on the Titans pack. Now let's let's run a game that has a let's quickly go R type and hopefully it will load up. Wicked, wicked, what we got. Oh, okay, we're down to the last minute. That's interesting. It kind of goes and resets here, so that's that's cool. But let's just let's start the demo. Okay, because you know what, guys, you can never go wrong with R-Type, right? So, Wicked, guys, this was it, the X68000. Um, a brilliant computer from Japan. Played amazingly well on the Mr. FPGA. Hopefully, we get this uh, on our analog pocket as well, because you know what? I love playing stuff in bed, and the analog pocket lets me do that. So, guys, that's really it for this stream. A big thank you out to Philly for kind of hooking me up and helping me with this. Big thank you to everyone uh, that participated in the stream. Love you guys. You are awesome. Um, be awesome to one another, guys. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and get some more streams again. I'll try and get some more community posts, post gang. But honestly, guys, that is it. Take care of one another. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja.